video, I will pick a ripe pineapple, save the top, and cube segment the inside, turning green into gold. Please like and subscribe and share. Sure would like some fresh pineapple chunks. I got a few left. I'm out of pineapple. What am I going to do? But I'm just going to have to pick this because it has my name. so difficult. I don't know why anybody would want to move to Florida. That one can wait till tomorrow. See it's got more green around the edges. And this one here will be tomorrow. That one will be Maybe next week. Alright, thank you for watching me pick my pineapple from this spot here. And to show my friends who are watching the advantage of the homegrown pineapple, this is a good pineapple. Before I can eat it, I need to remove the top. And because I propagate my own pineapples. I save the tops and start them to grow into a new plant. I'm going to show you how I remove the top. Now some people just snap it off, but I twist it off. And the reason I twist it off is because pineapple grows in a circle and winds up. So this is a standard grilling leather glove. And this is a fisherman's filleting glove. It's designed not to, to cut yourself with a knife. So I wear either glove and I'll put the glove on and I'll grab my pineapple with my ungloved hand. See this line here goes in an angle. This line goes in an angle. So I'm going to turn this in that direction. There we go. Just twist a little bit and then break it off. So a lot of people don't want to do that because once you break it, this is exposed to the environment. So this pineapple can get bacteria in there and decompose. But I'm going to cut this in just a few minutes. But first I'm going to show you what I do with the top. So when I prepare my pineapple top, the leaves grow in a serpentine pattern. So I'm going to simulate it here with these uh, plant cards. These are cards that came on the side of a, a store-bought pineapple. So I'm going to show you how I remove the leaves. So this is just a simulation. So notice how this card is laying on top of this card. So when you look at the base of your pineapple top, the leaves will be overlapping because the leaves grow in a circular serpentine pattern. One leaf will grow and overlap. The next leaf will grow and overlap. So to take the leaves off, let's take this one off first. This one is on top of these. This is on top of these. This is on top of this one. This is on top of this two over here. These, this one's free. This one's free. This one's free. This one's free. So now we're down to the sticky pads. So I'm going to show you on these sticky pads. See how this yellow one is on the blue one and the orange one. And also the pink one is on the blue one and the orange one. So basically I'm going to peel them. The ones that are on the top. So 
if I pick this one up here, I can see it's got something on the top of it. So I'm going to get the one that's on the top. Get off there, Ant. So I have to take the one that's on the top and take the next one that's on the top. I'll take the next one that's on the top. Then I'll look at the opposite side and take that one that's on the top. See, it's on the top of this one and the top of this one. So, this is how we're going to do the pineapple, and I'll show you that in just a few moments. In the simulation video, I said look for the leaves that are overlapping. See, this leaf here has nothing over top of it. This leaf here is under this leaf. This leaf here is under a couple of leaves. So I'm going to go for this one first that's not on anything. And as I pull this off, I see this one was next. And I see this one was next. And you'll see around here these little things here are air roots. Because pineapples will naturally fall to the ground and the top will take root for the new pineapple. So I just go up about that far on my, about a fingernail step, removing leaves. Now I'll leave the rest of these leaves on here. See the, the depth of the water is just touching the bottom of these natural roots that pre-started growing on the top of the plant. So it's, I'm just putting in there enough to get those bottom roots moist. And I don't want to get the green leaves wet. I just want to get the roots wet. Now the next thing I'm going to do is wash this pineapple. Then I'm going to show you how I get the fruit, the part that I can eat. Because this skin here, right under the skin, is the sweetest pineapple you will ever taste. So I washed both the top and the bottom and the sides of this pineapple. Because as I cut it up, it may drip some. And I don't want to waste any juice, so I'll catch it in the bowl. So this is the 15th pineapple I've picked this year. I gave one away, and I picked one in the spring at the end of February. But it's now July 21st. Twelve of the pineapples I've picked this year, I've used this great new tool, and I'm going to show it to you. So the first thing we have to do is cut off the top of the pineapple. So I'll go down about an inch. So I'm at least under the core and under the skin on the top. I have a little bit here I missed, so I'm going to go a little bit deeper. So here is the tool I've used on my past pineapples this year in 2020. And it has a removable handle. And it also has a segment splitter. I leave that on there. And have to be careful that these little spring clips don't get stuck. Slide it in there and twist it until they lock in place. If you have to, take something long and stick it up through the middle. Just to set them free. Anyway, so now we're going to do it. The quick and easy way to cut a pineapple. See, it has a serrated edge here and a little saw edge right here. So what I want to do is take these teeth and line them up around this center of the core. Just lean on a little bit and we'll push into the pineapple. 
So you notice I want to get the core inside that part that I just cut. So I'm going around the clock. So I'm just going straight down with this. And I can feel it going down. But I don't want to go through the bottom. So then I wiggle it a little bit. So I'm going to pull straight up on this now. Work it loose. Pull it straight up. Wiggle it just a little bit. And it should come straight up. Look at that. Next step is to put it in the bowl. And just push these side things down. Let me show you that. So I just want this to go down. I want my bowl deep enough so when these fall over and I can just knock the rest of them loose. And then holding this divider I'll just turn it counterclockwise a minute so I can get a deeper cut. And I just lift it up. And there you go. So there's no core stuck in here. It's all good. The best part about this pineapple. This is so good. Oh, that tasted like another piece. Uh oh, that one didn't get segmented enough. Man, that's good. Better put the lid on this. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. I'm going to put this in the plastic bag in the refrigerator. And I'm going to wash the rest of it. Thank you for watching. In my next video, I'll show you how I take the top that I saved and plant it. So I will plant the top and I'll show you the next step. I will put a link to get this from Amazon at the bottom of this video. I was going to put this in the refrigerator and I got distracted. Who'd have thought that you could turn green into gold? Thanks for watching. pick a ripe pineapple, save the top, and cube segment the inside, turning green into gold. Please like and subscribe and share. When you open the website ripperimage.com, move to the right side of the page, click on the menu for great resources, and in the drop down list, click great resources again. You'll see private label rights, Adobe software, Redbubble where I get my pictures printed on articles, Host Papa, which is my web host provider, Share a Sale, and you can find out how to write a bestseller. Thank you.